butterflies I already had, so I didn't go out to get any. But um, I have a wine bottle here, an empty wine bottle, where I took off the label and everything. I also have one of these bottle light stoppers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree a while back ago. Um, I've never used them. I had planned on doing this, but I had never gotten around to it. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it. But if you don't have one of these, you can always use the little fairy lights from the Dollar Tree or uh, a strand of Christmas lights that you may have. Um, but whenever the stores all open back up, just keep your eye out for these. Um, also, I'm going to be using some of this paint that I purchased from Walmart, and it is the Apple Barrel brand. Um, this is the acrylic paint, so I have it in real yellow. I uh, also have it in white. Um, also in Kelly Green. And I may use some of the pumpkin orange. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then I also have <clears throat> one of these little sample bottles of that's the Glyden paint. Uh, it's a paint tester that you can buy at pretty much any of the... Um, stores like uh, Walmart or Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere like that. It's just a little sample bottle. Um, this one is in the color Afternoon Tea and I'm not real sure how well it's going to work on glass but we're going to find out. And it's sort of a brownish color. And what I plan on painting today are sunflowers and daisies because you know spring is here and we're not really getting to enjoy it. And then summer's around the corner. So, I don't know. I'm kind of having cabin fever and wishing that we could all go out and enjoy nature. But um, I also got one of some of these, I got two of them, the glass paintbrush markers. I purchased these from the Dollar Tree also. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using these or not. So, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Um, you'll also need some paint brushes, and my paint brushes are from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have already gotten out a little bit of the yellow paint already, and I am using this angled brush. It's the Master Stroke brand um, angular brush number six, and I did purchase these from the Dollar Tree. I've never used them though. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and like I said, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a great artist, but I'm going to go ahead and start painting some little sunflowers on here and we'll see how this goes.
Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to paint some uh, daisies on here. I'm going to rinse out my brush. white So there's some of the daisies. I'm going to try this um, glass marker and see how it works. See if I can paint a daisy that way. I know it says when you use this that you have to heat it up or something when you're done. You have to heat up your product to 160 degrees for 30 minutes and then let it cool down and then it's supposed to be set um, so that you can uh, put it in the dishwasher, it says. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can't um, do a daisy with this thing. This might have been easier. But I know it's a lot easier for me to draw than it is for me to paint. <laughs> this is a lot thinner. So, I mean, I like this because I have a little more control. But, it seems like it, um, it takes longer. I mean, this would be good if you're doing like really small detailed kind of stuff. This would, would be good. But, I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to my paintbrush. I think I like it a little, a little bit better. It seems to go a little quicker. I'm going to go ahead and paint a couple more uh, sunflowers on here. 
And then I'm going to do the center part. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to paint the center part. I think to do that I'm going to use a different uh, brush. Let's see if I have... Um, I may have to use one of these. I think I'll use the smaller one. And um, so for the inside of the sunflower, I'm going to use some of this brown, uh, this afternoon tea. I'm not real sure. I may have to add a little bit of black to it because it's not, um, it's not a real dark brown color. It's sort of a light, sort of a tan color. So let me, I'm going to put a little bit of black in with that. Let's see if I can make it a little darker anyway. I'm just going to put one little drip of black and see if that's enough. Kind of makes a grayish color instead. Sort of brown. So what I may do what I might do because this is awful it's, it's too much of a gray color and I really kind of wanted brown so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the straight brown color and see how that turns out Okay, that's the center of my sunflowers. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do 
uh, the center of the daisies. And for them, I think I'm going to use this orange color. We'll have to see how bright it is. <laughs> like with the daisies on there and the sunflowers. I think it looks really cute. So now I'm going to go ahead and try and paint maybe some leaves on here or maybe stems or something. And I'm just going to use, I don't know if I said what paintbrush that was that I used for that, for the center um, of the flowers, but it's this uh, Master Stroke, uh, it's a round brush number two. So, I'm going to use some of that green, and then I think what I may do is, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and try this um, angle brush again to see if I can make some leaves. So... Okay, there's the leaves for the sunflower. And if you wanted to go back in after it dries to give it a second coat, you could. But I think I'm just going to leave it kind of like that. I kind of like how it's uh, transparent a little bit. So, um, now I'm trying to decide if I should do the leaves for the daisies or not. Um... I think I'm just going to leave the daisies like they are, but what I may do is go in and put some stems on them, and I'm just using um, the round number two uh, brush to do that, so let's see. I hope that you guys can see this.
just going to go ahead and stop there. It's really simple. I didn't want anything, you know, real fancy, but I think it's really pretty. So I hope that you guys like this. I hope you try it. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to put this light thing in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And like I said, I've had this for, I'd say, probably two years. <laughs> so... If it don't work, I won't be surprised and I won't be disappointed because that's my fault for leaving it in my craft room for so long. But I'm just going to unravel it here. And it has an off and on switch. Oh yeah, it works. Pretty. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm not straightening them out a lot. I kind of want to leave it a little bit curly. And then, oh, looky there. Awesome. So, I will take you guys into a dark room <laughs> so that you can see what this looks like. I think it's really pretty. Um, also, if you wanted to um, dress it up a little more, you could get some ribbon or something to tie around um, the top or uh, maybe some uh, jute twine or something to wrap around here. Um, it's totally up to you. So, I'm going to go and show you guys what this looks like um, in a dark room. So. Okay, guys, so I'm in my bathroom, my guest bathroom. And this is what it looks like. Um, I think this is really pretty. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you try to do something like this while we're all kind of cooped up inside. It's real fun. You can even get the kids to do it um, if they're bored. But um, I think this is really cute and um, I really enjoyed making it. I know I'm not the greatest artist in the world, but I still think this is really pretty. And there are so many other things you could do if you had some... Um, like napkins or something, some really nice napkins from the Dollar Tree or wherever, uh, you could decoupage them onto a bottle or uh, paint the whole entire bottle and make it into uh, an Easter bunny, paint an Easter bunny face on there or something. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And if you want to be notified when I upload a video, just click the little bell icon. I hope that you guys are having a good week, and I just want to thank you all for watching. Bye!